So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at your Crota set. So if you guys don't know if this is your first video, we essentially review the armor and have the shader video. They're both right here. And then after those two videos are done, we start doing the class specific video. So the Hunters, you guys already have yours. It's right here. Titans, you guys are up next. And for this, we're going to be getting the Crota armor from the Crota's end raid and then looking at the individual pieces and making sets from those individual pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, because these videos are not only kind of time consuming to make, but I also would just appreciate it because it does help the channel a lot. I also do push out a lot of content for just me, so that would be very much appreciated. Uh, hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up with my current content, because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet, and this one is pretty interesting in the, in the sense that I actually like how this one came out quite a bit so for the helmet we're gonna be using will breakers watch and the will breakers resolve which is literally the same sets for the arms war numerous fist for the boots we're actually gonna be using the husk crushers ornament for the dune marchers definitely a really good ornament for hive my only gripe with it is the fact that the shoes are just like regular people shoes like look at look at all this set all of this is like very like <laughs> this is very hive themed and then we get to the boots and it's just like fucking just Tim's dog. Like what the, it pisses me off so much because all you really had to do was you see those knee pads, those spiky knee pads, just put that on the shoes and it would have looked. All right. Let me not talk about this. Cause I did talk about this in the Dune Marchers video, which you guys can check out right here. So, and then for the mark, we're going to be using Mark of the Taken King. So I really like this set a lot. My only gripe with it, and this is just something you guys are going to hear a lot in these videos, is just the fact that the Mark of the Taken King, specifically anything from the Taken King, shaders fucking terribly. This one's not so bad because the part that I want green is green, but you guys will see that the buckle, not even buckle, but like the front, well, I guess that would be the buckle. The buckle, you will see it's not a true black, it's like a black green. That's because it takes, there's an there's a glow over the actual armor of the Taken King sets. So that's unfortunate. Other than that, if you can ignore that, I think this set looks really, really cool. And it combines green with it really, really well, considering that the Oryx pieces just have green forever and you can't change the color of it you're definitely going to want to lean into it for the shader we're using venomous just because that one it has a pure black and silver look for the armor pieces and then for the glow it's actually a really good green so if i were to tell you anything i would probably tell you like if you really were picky about it i know some people might be picky about the fact that there's candles on the mark and it's red and some people might be like oh well i want red instead well tough titties because the helmet and the chest piece will not change red so that's why i said tough titties as for the next set we're going to be using the arms and you guys will notice a trend i'm using shaders that have either a green in there or a green glow either way there's going to be green in there um with the caveat of using like neutral colors like white and black and shit that that will be the only instance where it's like oh there's no green in this well it's like yeah there's no green in this because i don't need any green so for the shader, let's just get that out of the way first. Oiled gunmetal is what we're using. I love this shader. It's really, really cool. Gives that really cool sheen on plate armor, and it looks really good on actual guns. Uh, Dragonfly Regalia Helm is what we're using for the helmet. Will Breaker's Fist for the arms. Chest piece, we're going to be using Warren Wind's chest piece. For the boots, we're going to be using Abeyant Leaps. Just the base look of it, because I feel like the base look is really cool and then for the mark we're going to be using the Forian mark so a lot of organic pieces to this obviously that's literally what you should be expecting from me right now uh it's just organic looks really really cool with it and i actually do think it looks really cool my only thing and i think i mentioned this in the review video of the crota armor is that i feel like i really should have combined the will breaker's fist with the boots as well just because the arms have a lot of pointy bits to them, and I feel like the boots would have added on to that and made it look even cooler. But I actually really like this one. What will I have this in, for my abeyant leap looks? Probably not, just because I have much better looks and more va like var variety of looks for my abeyant leap. But I won't say like, oh, this will never be a thing, because it once once in a while i get bored of all the looks that I do, and then I'll go to like the ones that I rarely do, which is will be this one, unfortunately. As for the next set, I've actually done a video on this one as well, Kepri's Horn. I'll have it, the thumbnail right now. Unfortunately, I can't have the the thing up because I can only have four at a time in per video, so that's why I only have the thumbnail. But you guys can definitely 
just look up Kepri's horn in my channel and you guys will find it. This one is really, really cool because I ended up going for a bug theme. Obviously, Kepri's horn for me, very, it looks very bug like, and that's kind of what I just leaned into. So, for the arms, War Newman's Fist, for the chest piece, Will Breaker's Resolve, for the boots, Crawling Chaos Greaves, and then for the mark, actually, Mark of the Pit, funnily enough. So, I love this set. It's one of my favorite sets that I've made just because it looks really, really cool. That being said, if you don't want to use Gambit Jade's if you don't want to use Gambit Jade Stone, which is very much a vibe, you can definitely use other shaders. You just have to make sure that the shaders have a green glow because the Kepri's horn will not have a green glow. It, it, it changes color, thankfully. But with this set, you would actually have to go in and be like, okay, well, I need a green glow to like match the look because if you don't have a green glow, I think it's just going to look goofy. And there are some shaders that have a green glow. I definitely would recommend a few of those but honestly yeah just let me know i'll definitely like post it uh, like a comment on it but i think jet gambit, gambit jade stone is going to be a really really good one gut oiled gunmetal is going to be a pretty good one as well venomous is going to be such a good one but for me gambit jade stone is probably the better ones that being said i do think there's like two or three that off the top of my head that would be good that is just shaders that I actually would use and one of them is being sold this week for bright dust if I remember correctly so definitely check those shaders out and then last but not least we have this one right here so I have been finding out that I am falling in love with Arbor Warden I think the Arbor Warden or exotic is just so cool looking and with this look I think it just looks even better so for the helmet War Newman's crown is what we're using again Gauntlets of the Taken King for the boots, we're going to be using the boots from Crota and then the Chem Flesh Mark. So I like this set a lot. I really, really like it. Um, my only gripe is the fact that the knees are so like so pointy and so long that it kind of makes everything else look small in comparison. That being said, if we had the base look of this dude, it would have looked amazing. And also Lucid is a really good shader if you want to have another shader that has that green that being said, yeah, I actually don't mind this one. I really like Warper, or Arbor Warden just because we're using it with Strand so that way we can also have that green. And I think it would look really cool with this set. It very, it very much gives me that vibe of like uh, this Titan has been overgrown, has been dead for a while. And I don't know, there could definitely be a cool story behind this one. So. Let me know what you guys think, Titans. What did you guys think? I definitely like a lot of these sets. Um, I don't think there's a loser in this, aside from maybe the second set. I like I like the second set. Don't get me wrong. Have I made it better at Bay and Leap sets? For sure I have. That doesn't make it bad. It's just, it's not as good as the other ones that I've done. I definitely like the first one a lot and probably would say it's my favorite aesthetically. That being said, the third one, the one with the one with Kepri's horn will probably be my legitimately favorite one just because that one's the one I can see myself actually using. But the fourth one's not bad either. So Titans, let me know which one your favorite is. I, I'm kind of struck. Like I feel like the first and, and third one are like legitimately the best ones, but I would love to know your input. So again, I will be having the Warlocks up next. Titans, you guys will have your short version of this video uh, in probably four to six hours. We'll see. And that one is just me just showing the armor without talking. It's literally like 60 seconds, not even probably like 58 seconds long. So those are usually done for the, for those of you who don't want to watch the long, long format or for those of you who are just going through the content and just like swiping. That's what I usually do. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all be safe. I will see you guys later.